If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best budget piece that you want to be picking up for your Mud Squad in Madden 22. Now, guys, I've not made this video in a while. A lot of people have been asking for it. Budget piece is a good video for a lot of people, especially because you can click on this video pretty much any time for the next month or so for just amount of time and still find a decent value with my players. Or see, like, if I recommended this guy at this speed, that means that, you know, a month later, maybe this, you can find a, you gotta look for a guy with the similar stats with maybe a little bit more speed, right? It's still doable. You hear the price ranges, you hear the reasoning why. And I also often put some free players in here as well so that you can come back to this video and be like, oh, there was a free player from that promo. Let me hop into that one, right? Because what if you get the game for Christmas and you don't know what the hell you're doing and you can be like, oh, he recommended this most feared player. How do I get him? He was from the solos. Cool. I can just go back and pick him up and just start my squad that way, right? A lot of important news here, you know, for all the souls that don't go away, that is the case at least. But, before we get into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, guys. And of course, if you don't follow me on Twitter, head on down below and follow me there. I can always help you directly through DM or public tweeting. I want to take a quick moment out of the video to introduce you guys to my new favorite daily fantasy app. I've recently partnered with them because I just love it so much. I want to get it out there. I want to promote it for you guys. I love this app. It's not like the typical daily fantasy app that you guys are so accustomed to using with all the complicated numbers and the complicated lines and the complicated lingo it is so simple i like to compare them to apple they make it simple for the user it's pretty much dummy proof and not in a mean way i love that it's dummy proof because it's good for me i can just you can be at the store online trying to buy something and while you're waiting online make a do a pick them you could do a quick pick them player prop in seconds it is so simple to use the apps the, the, the ui is my favorite part the user interface is one of my favorite things i'm really big on user interfaces when a user interface works for me that's my app that is it and it's not like your typical daily fantasy like DraftKings type thing where you have to go ahead and make a whole group of players and typically you have to pick two or three trash players you know aren't going to do well because that's how the salary allows you to do. This app lets you pick who you like. And for instance, my favorite game mode is the pick em. If I know that this Thursday, Jonathan Taylor is going to in a smash spot and he's going to kill it, I take the over. And then as I continue looking through, I'm like, okay, I think Carson Wentz is going to throw the under, right? Because that's just kind of how it works. You know, a running back goes off for a bunch of yards. Typically, the quarterback probably throws the under. And on the other side, if it's if it's gonna if it's gonna be a game where the Jets are behind, maybe Mike White throws the over if I like the line. And there you go. I suddenly have a three group player prop where my cash gets multiplied, guys. And up to five players is what you can do. And you can get up to 20 times your money, which means you spend 20 bucks on that player prop. You can win a ton of money. You can win 400 bucks. You do $10, you can win 200 bucks. You do five, you can win 100 bucks. And guys, if you use my code Poodle while signing up or use my underdog link down below, which should include my code, although I would still use the code regardless to be safe, you get your initial deposit matched up to 100 bucks in bonus cash, which pretty much is just free money. That means if you deposit 100, you get 100. It's 100 free dollars to play with. You really can't go wrong with that. You can pretty much play at your heart's desire on their money. And I really love that they give you guys that offer with my code. So make sure you guys check it out. If you have any questions about it, hit me up on Twitter. My link will be down below. Comment down below. I will be fully willing to help you out with anything you guys need so let me know but let's get back to the video let's get into the video we have some budget beasts to get over we have some budget beasts to go over here and cover for you guys so let's start with the list i have seven total players now the reason i don't force it out to 10 sometimes i don't feel that like there's like 10 real budget guys that i need right now and by trying to go through and force those players sometimes it just becomes harder because then i end up forcing players in there that i really didn't want so i'm keeping it at seven i found seven good guys that i really like one of the best ones still Montez Sweat is still one of the best overall budget beast. He literally is only 80, uh, what's it called? He's an 89 overall, right? You would expect him to not be that great anymore. You can get him for free from the solos if you had played them back in the, back then. They're gone now, but you, I mean, you could technically still play and get him later. 87 speed, 90 excel on a budget team at left end is just really good value. Now, the problem with this is when you have an 87, 90 excel guy at a, on a budget team, he can't pass rush or run stuff. That is wrong. Montez Sweat gets a 90 finesse move powered up. He's also six foot six, and he's gonna get an 86 block shed. This card's good. This card is exactly what you need for a budget team. You're gonna get a good, a fast guy who can contain, contain, right? Because a lot of guys right now, they love to scramble with their quarterback, especially with escape artists. You know, start, assume we're gonna have escape artists on a lot more people as overalls do increase. And you have to understand that this game's a game where it, it's, it, it favors the running quarterback a lot more than it has in past years. If you have a slow end and you want to contain, you can actually run around contains this year. A lot more than you've been... In past years, I contain typically to shut it down. You can literally just run around contains. But if you have a guy with high speed, they'll at least beat him to the edge and keep him to the edge. So even if you run around the contain, they won't get many more yards beyond that. 
or they won't have a passing lane. Like, you can't just run around them and pass. They're coming. They're coming fast, especially with 87 speed. I love this Montez Sweat. He's a great card. So the next card on this list at number seven is Everson Griffin. Now, the reason I like him so much, he is a free card. So you don't have to actually pay this price. If you guys know how to play it, guys, just go right now. Go into your most feared solos. There's plenty of opportunities to get a free 90 overall most feared. There's the house rules. There's so many ways. Make sure you don't miss out in case some of this stuff does actually expire. Everson Griffin is similar to Montez Sweat, but better. The thing is that if you can't get this free version of Everson Griffin, Montez Sweat's a more budgety version that you can actually buy, or you can get both. Remember, one's a left, one's a right. Get both. Left to right, you'll have fast ends. 87 speed, 80 excel, 89 strength, 88 tackle, 84 play rec, 87 block shit, 89 power move, 92 finesse move. Overall, it's just a great card. Powered up, he'll get the 90 power move threshold. He'll get the strength above 90. He'll get the speed between 88 and 89 excel. He's six foot three. This card is just absolutely a great free card, right? 90 impact block because it's free. It's not like you have to pay for this card. Go play your most of your solos. You don't want to miss out getting some easy. Like this is a Montez Sweat and Everson Griffin could easily lock up your end spots for quite a while because as a budget team, you're not going to get crazy pass rush unless you set up some nice blitzes. So all you really care about is that speed, making sure that they're coming off the edge. Divine Diablo, guys. Another guy that you could have gotten for free. He only goes for 74K right now, but you could have gotten him for free from the uh, Wildcard Wednesday solos. But overall, this guy's still just a, a goon. He gets 90 speed, right? So powered up 91 speed at safety is still very usable right now. He gets 92 Excel powered up, 90 Tackle powered up, 90 Pursuit powered up, and he gets 91 hit power. I'd recommend you user him, of course, because of the zone. But he'll be one of the best budget users in the game, if not the best budget user. He's six foot three, 226, 87 agility. It's 85 change of direction. He goes ahead and just gets some 90 hit power. Like I said, is just absurd considering the card you're getting at 89 overall. He gets so many, like this is one of those cards where he's an 89 overall, but he has above 90 speed, above 90 excel, 90 tackle, 90 pursuit, above 90 hit power. It's just, he's a good card. 89 jumping powered up, like 71 catching. This card's probably gonna be the best budget user you're gonna be able to get your hands on in terms of well-roundedness. There is one more guy that again free so he's not i'm not going to put him in the diablo category because diablo you have to pay for technically unless you have the heavyweight uh heavyweight flashback esque solos done next we have monster raheem monster is always one of the best budget backs in the game guys you're gonna get him for about 30k and probably less if you just snipe him for around 25 raheem monster 87 overall gets you that 91 speed 90 excel 89 change of direction combo you're looking for now powered up of course you'll get 92 speed 91 excel and 90 change of direction 81 break tackle. He's going to be the perfect little speedy little hamster that you can get on your team for a really cheap price. So I'm to break the bank. And of course, he's very well rounded in terms of like he can juke. He, he has change of direction. His jukes in 82. Like he, he can do things just well enough to be usable. He's not going to be a power back. But of course, you could get like that Marshawn Lynch LTD off from the other day. You could get the free Josh Jacobs and you could just get the free Josh Jacobs from most feared. I didn't like him, but get him. Put him as the backup to Raheem, put him as the power back, and then Raheem Master will be your outside zone guy, your pitch guy, your between the 20 guy, and then Josh Jacob will be your short yardage grinder, right? That'll be a great way to pair those two. And I you for 30k, you can get a free Josh Jacobs and a monster and have a pretty good running back uh squad there. Next, guys, at number three, we have Jeremy Chin, another free guy. That's what I like about this list right now, is that a lot of these guys are free. Jeremy Chin, you can get from the most feared solos as well. This card is one of the best users as well, similar to Divine Diablo, which I will explain in a second. The difference between the two is that his zone will get 91, so I wouldn't recommend you user him. I think he should be left alone, but he is a user as well if you don't have Diablo. He gets 91 speed, 90 excel, 82 tackle, but the important thing here is 86 hit power, 91 zone, 87 man. First thought, first and foremost, the zone's better on him, so I would rather let him roam and then use your Diablo, and his hit power slightly lower as well. I kind of want a higher hit power with my user, but compared to the two, Jeremy Chin's the better. He's the better of the two. It's, it's no doubt in my mind. He's six foot three and two twenty one again. They're they're very similar, but the difference is Diablo will be able to go ahead and get the better hit power, and of course you can use your him while he gets to roam because he has a ninety one thro zone threshold. Also, if you power up and use the right strategy card, you could potentially get his mana to a 90 as well, which would make this card absolutely nasty. 73 catching, 92 jumping powered up. Like, this is going to be a very... 74 catching, sorry. A very, very good card. 87 change of direction powered up. And then, of course, his block shot to 61. Wish that was a little bit higher, but again, that's pretty decent for his type, right? His build a zone, technically, a zone safety, right? This is a good card. I really like this card a lot. And he's free. A lot of these cards you can go ahead and get for free. A lot of the best cards in the game are budget squad cards. They've made it very easy this year to be a no money spent budget squad guy. Now, I don't think you can have a god squad this year. That, that's the difference that they've changed a little bit more. Um, they made it so easy to build a budget squad, but I, don't, I think they made it harder for to make a god squad because a lot of these cards aren't god squad, right? You know, oriented. Marshall Lattimore, num number two on this list. 
he can be had for free as well from the souls remember you can get up to like nine free so it's not it's not like you could say like oh but i can only like it would be stupid if i made this list and there's only one free player and it's like okay well you gave us seven players they're all from here like you can get like nine plus free players so it's very attainable to get most of these cards if not all on the same team for free players 91 speed 91 excel 89 agility 90 jumping 85 play rec 88 man 87 zone 85 press he's six feet tall 192 70 catch now power to pull up 92 speed 91 excel 92 excel 90 agility above 90 jumping he'll get 89 man 88 zone again with the right strategy card like a one man with a double up on the zone you could probably get him to 90 man and zone which and again budget squads probably don't have all the speed things either so you have the space to go ahead and do this you can get him up to a you can make him lock down corner status right definitely recommend you go ahead and try to do that and number one on this list now again these weren't exactly in any specific order like don't think number one on this list is the one that you have to have the most but he is really good. He was the first one that came to mind for me in terms of like that set, that wide receiver that you can get for a pretty good price. Marquise Brown. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure if you go, though, and play that Team of the Week solo, if you had played it, you got a free one. So there's a chance you could have had this card for free already. If not, he's 63K. Marquise Brown going to be one of the better budget receivers in the game. He goes ahead and gets a 92 speed, which means powered up, he gets a 93 speed. Going to be tied for like one of the fast receivers in the game. And he's only 60k now the only knock on him is going to be that he only gets you know he gets above 80 on all route running though because a lot of the times you get these fast guys and they're route running on the budget teams like 70s right he gets an 86 deep route 81 medium and an 80 short so he's gonna be able to run every route decently and he gets a 93 speed he's five foot nine he's gonna be pretty agile with a 90 change of direction 85 juke move a really good budget wide receiver like when we're talking budget not like an 120k guy right he's gonna be good but guys that pretty much wraps up today's video that's going to be all the budget beasts for this time being. I will update this video at some point in the future. That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys need any help with Underdog Fantasy or signing up, hit me up over on Twitter. My follow link and the Underdog link should be down below in the description. I will make sure I get everything down there. As well as, guys, if you guys do need any help with Madden, hit me up over on Twitter as well or comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.